So I'd like to talk a little about visco supplementation, and that's a that's a ten cent word. Uh, what does it mean? Visco supplementation. I like to call it the the oil change uh, for the knee. It refers to injecting a thick viscous substance that called that is predominantly composed of hyaluronic acid. Now, hyaluronic acid is a main component of the lubricant that you typically find in a normal, healthy knee. Uh, it provides both stability, cushioning, and lubrication for the joint. When we're younger, we tend to have a lot of this. We have a lot of healthy cells in the joint around the uh, the uh, lining of the cell or the lining of the joint that will uh, provide this uh, fluid. As we get older. As the lining of the joint tends to break down and degrade, we tend to lose those cells and the quality and consistency of that fluid tends to degrade as well. Essentially, it goes from being like hair gel to being like water, which is not much more compressible and does not provide the same protective effect. Back in the 1990s, someone figured out that if you looked at the molecular structure of a rooster's comb, it was almost identical to the fluid that you typically find in our knee. And so a lot of people will hear this called the chicken shot because essentially it's made from bird products. It's made from a rooster's comb. But it looks like hair gel. It's very, it's very relatively thick and kind of sticky. And what you do with visco supplementation is if you have a knee that has mild to typically moderate, even some severe arthritis is under uh, guidance, either the use of a fluoroscope or the live action x-ray, we'll call it, or the ultrasound machine, you can inject this fluid into the knee and you inject a small amount every week for about five weeks, once a week for five weeks, and in doing so, hoping to buffer the knee. When you buffer the knee, most people find that they can walk better, stand better, and have a lot less pain with, with everyday activities. So if you're wondering how does the procedure work, it's actually very simple. Um, you're brought into the room and say we're doing this under fluoroscopic guidance. Now a lot of you might be familiar with the fluoroscope. It looks like a, a big C-shaped arm. It almost looks like a gigantic magnifying glass you played with in middle school. Um, that's actually a giant x-ray with a very focused beam. And it's a quick x-ray that is designed for guidance. Uh, pain management doctors do it for epidurals in the spine, but it's very good for the joint as well. So typically we'll get you seated on the table. Uh, the area in the knee is going to be cleaned up very thoroughly. Um, once we put our gloves and our masks on. We take a very small needle and do a very, very small injection under the skin and put a little wheel or bleb of lidocaine under the skin to numb you up. And we'll give that a moment to kick in. Once the knee's numbed up, another needle will be inserted. That needle will be injected or inserted into the knee joint. And to confirm that, we'll inject a small amount of a stuff called omnipake. Now, Omnipec is a dye that actually shows up on the x-ray. So if we're in the knee joint, what we'll see is the joint itself, and you'll see the needle, and you'll see what looks like a cloud of smoke coming out of it. That cloud of smoke confirms that we're actually in fluid, which means we're in the knee joint. So all you simply do at that point is you remove the syringe that had the Omnipec, you twist on the syringe that has the visco, supp the visco supplement, and you inject in the knee. From that point, you simply pull it out, clean the skin off, put a Band-Aid over it, and the procedure's done. What we'll typically do is we'll often follow up with someone in about six months time and there's a reason for that. If you found that visco supplementation was helpful to you, most insurances will allow a repeat of that visco supplementation six months after your last injection. Now fortunately most people don't, who respond well to this don't need it that soon. Uh, we'll often see patients come back nine months, a year, even afterwards later saying that it's starting to wear off then. And basically, if you found that you're taking fewer medications, you can stand and walk better and you have less pain, and that's documented by your healthcare provider, they'll typically allow you to do it again.